Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on magnetic circuits. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine reluctance of a simple magnetic circuit. We shall also learn how to calculate magnetomotive force, magnetizing force, flux density, total flux, etc. An airport toroidal coil has 3000 tons and carries a current of 0.1 ampere. The cross-sectional area of the coil is 4 square centimeter and the mean length of magnetic circuit is 15 centimeter. We have to determine the magnetic field strength, the flux density and the total flux within the coil. Let us first write down the given data. Coil current I equals to 0.1 ampere. Number of coil turns N equals to 3000. Mean length of magnetic circuit L equals to 15 centimeter that is equal to 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Cross sectional area A equals to 4 square centimeter that is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. We know that permeability of air mu 0 equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter. Let us first determine magnetomotive force. F equals to N into I. Using halus we get 3000 into 0 0.1. That gives us 300 ampere tons. Magnetic field strength H equals to F divided by L. Using halus we get 300 divided by 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 that is equal to 2000 ampere tons per meter. Flux density B equals to mu 0 into H. Using halus we get 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 2000 that gives us 0 0.0025 over per meter square or 0.0025 Tesla. Total flux phi equals to B into A. Using halus we get 0.0025 into 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. That gives us 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 Weber or 1 micro Weber. A coil of 200 tons is wound uniformly over a wooden ring having a mean circumference of 50 cm and a uniform cross-sectional area of 500 square millimeter. If the current through the coil is 5 ampere, we have to calculate the magnetic field strength, the flux density and the total flux. Let us first write down the given data. Coil current I equals to 5 ampere. Number of coil turns N equals to 200. Circumference of the wooden ring L equals to 50 centimeter. That is equal to 50 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. This is the length of magnetic circuit. Given cross-sectional area A equals to 500 square millimeter that is equal to 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. We know that permeability of free space mu 0 equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter. Let us first determine magnetomotive force. F equals to N into I. Using halus we get 200 into 5 that gives us 1000 ampere tons. Magnetic field strength 
H equals to F divided by L. Using values we get 1000 divided by 50 into 10 to the power minus 2. That gives us 2000 ampere tons per meter flux density B equals to mu0 times H. Using values we get 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 2000. That gives us 0 0.0025 Weber per meter square or 0 0.0025 Tesla. Total flux phi equals to B into A. Using values we get 0 0.0025 into 500 into 10 to the power minus 6. That gives us 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 Weber or 1.25 micro Weber. A mild steel ring having a uniform cross-sectional area of 500 square millimeter and a mean circumference of 500 millimeter has a coil of 250 tons owned around it. We have to calculate the reluctance of the ring and the current required to produce a flux of 850 micro Weber in the ring. We have to assume the relative permeability of mild steel B400. Let us first write down the given data. Magnetic flux phi equals to 850 micro Weber. That is equal to 850 into 10 to the power minus 6 Weber. Number of coil turns N equals to 250. Circumference of mild steel ring L equals to 500 millimeter. That is equal to 500 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. This is the length of the magnetic circuit. Given cross sectional area A equals to 500 square millimeter. That is equal to 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. Relative permeability of mild steel. Mu R equals to 400. Let us now calculate reluctance of the iron ring. R equals to 1 upon mu 0 mu R into L by A. We know that. The permeability of free space mu0 equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter. Therefore, R equals to 1 upon 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 400 into 500 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 500 into 10 to the power minus 6. That gives us 1.9894 into 10 to the power 6 ampere tons per Weber. Magnetomotive force F equals to phi into R. Using values we get 850 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 1.9894 into 10 to the power 6. That gives us. 1691 ampere tons. Magnetizing current I equals to F divided by N. Using values we get 1691 divided by 250. That gives us 6.764 ampere. A coil of insulated wire of 500 tons and of resistance 4 ohm is closely wound on iron ring. The ring has a mean diameter of 0 0.25 meter and a uniform cross-sectional area of 700 square millimeter. Assuming a relative permeability of 550, we have to calculate the total flux in the ring when a DC supply of 6 volts is applied to the winding, let us first write down the given data. 
applied voltage V equals to 6 volts. Resistance of the coil R equals to 4 ohm. Number of coil turns N equals to 500. Mean diameter D equals to 0 0.25 meter. Therefore, mean length of the magnetic circuit L equals to pi into D that is equal to 0 0.25 pi meter. Cross sectional area A equals to 700 square millimeter that is equal to 700 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. Relative permeability of iron mu r equals to 550. Let us first determine magnetizing current I equals to V divided by R using values we get 6 divided by 4 that gives us 1.5 ampere. Magnetomotive force F equals to N into I using values we get 500 into 1.5 that gives us 750 ampere turns. Reluctance of the iron ring R equals to 1 upon mu 0 mu R into L by A. We know that permeability of free space mu 0 equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter. Therefore, R equals to 1 upon 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 550 into 0 0.25 pi divided by 700 into 10 to the power minus 6 that gives us 1.6234 into 10 to the power 6 ampere turns per Weber. Total flux phi equals to F divided by R using values we get 750 divided by 1.6234 into 10 to the power 6 that gives us 0 0.462 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber or 0 0.462 milli Weber. A rectangular shaped core is made of mild steel plate of 15 millimeter by 20 millimeter cross section. The mean length of magnetic path is 18 centimeter. The exciting coil has 300 turns and current of 0 0.7 ampere. Assuming relative permeability of mild steel as 940, we have to calculate the magnetizing force, the flux density, the reluctance and the total flux of the magnetic circuit. Let us first write down the given data coil current I equals to 0 0.7 ampere. Number of coil turns N equals to 300. Mean length of magnetic circuit L equals to 18 centimeter that is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Cross sectional area A equals to 15 millimeter into 20 millimeter that is equal to 300 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. Relative permeability of mild steel mu r equals to 940. Let us first calculate magnetomotive force F equals to N into I using values we get. 300 into 0 0.7 that is equal to 210 ampere turns. Let us now calculate magnetizing force H equals to F divided by L using values we get 210 divided by 18 into 10 to the power minus 2 that gives us 1166.2. 667 ampere turns per meter plus density B equals to 
mu zero mu one into h since permeability of free space mu zero equals to four pi into ten to the power minus seven Henry per meter b equals to four pi into ten to the power minus seven into nine forty into eleven hundred sixty six point six 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 seven that gives us one point three seven eight one Weber per meter square or one point three seven eight one Tesla total flux phi equals to b into a using values we get one point three seven eight one into three hundred into ten to the power minus six that gives us zero point four one three four into ten to the power minus three Weber or 0.4134 milli Weber. Reluctance R equals to F divided by phi. Using values we get 210 divided by 0.4134 into 10 to the power minus 3. That gives us 50.794 into 10 to the power 4 ampere turns per Weber. Let us now calculate reluctance using alternative method. R equals to 1 upon mu 0 mu r into L by A. Using values we get 1 upon 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 940 into 18 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 300 into 10 to the power minus 6. That gives us 50.794 into 10 to the power 4 ampere turns per Weber. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on magnetic circuits. By solving these problems we have learnt how to determine reluctance of a simple magnetic circuit. We have also learnt how to calculate magnetomotive force magnetizing force, flux density, total flux, etc. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.